Greetings is a lesson for beginners. So why is it being featured in the intermediate course? Let me explain. When we first meet someone, they form an opinion about us and they decide whether they like us or trust us. Yeah, well, the señoritas, everybody now pay attention. Voy a darle play al audio. Se puso lento, pero ya. Ahora sí. Please, everybody, put your speaker off. Please, everybody needs to be with your speaker. Cuando usted se vaya a conectar, asegúrese que el micrófono esté siempre apagado. Y evitemos esto de conectarse con el micrófono encendido. Sí, por favor. Ok, everybody, pay attention and watch the video. Thinking. Greetings is a lesson for beginners. So why is it being featured in the intermediate course? Let me explain. When we first meet someone, they form an opinion about us and they decide whether they like us or trust us. So first impressions are really important. And something as simple as using the wrong greeting can give the listener the wrong impression. And it can even make you appear rude. And <laughs> nobody wants that. Unfortunately, even some of my most advanced students use the wrong greetings. Just the other day, I received an email from a student inquiring about lessons, and he signed off with, which means hurry up and reply. Let's very quickly clear up what... A ver, señoritas y jóvenes, ¿no están viendo el video? No, yo tampoco, profe. No se ve pero sí se escucha. Y también se escucha un poco entrecortado y rápido. Ok, profe. ya. Esperamos un ratito. Esperen un rato entonces. Les, les arreglo esto. Tienen que avisarme, pero ese rato. Ustedes están, ya pasa dos minutos del video y, y me están avisando ahorita. Esperen un ratito entonces. Ahorita les voy a actualizar. Esperamos un ratito que cargue. Debe ser porque las clases están grabándose también, recordando el video. Ya, yeah, ahora sí. Let's continue the video. Yeah, me avisan si ven ahora. Ahora sí, pero. Ahora sí. Ya, yeah, apagamos los speakers, please, everybody, put, turn off your speakers. Greetings is a lesson for beginners. So why is it being featured in the intermediate course? Let me explain. When we first meet someone, they form an opinion about us and they decide whether they like us or trust us. So first impressions are really important. And something as simple as using the wrong greeting can give the listener the wrong impression. And it can even make you appear rude. And <laughs> nobody wants that. Unfortunately, even some of my most advanced students use the wrong greetings. Just the other day, I received an email from a student inquiring about lessons and he signed off with, Chop, chop, which means hurry up and apply. It was very rude and I was gobsmacked. So let's very quickly clear up what can be used in a formal situation and what can be used in an informal situation. First, let's look at the formal greetings. This is how you would greet someone at work, at university or in any official setting. Generally, in formal conversation, you would use full, grammatically correct sentences with clear enunciation. Let's have a look at some examples. Hello. Depending on the time of day. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. If you've met the person before, you may say, it's nice to see you again. Or it's good to see you again. If you haven't met them before, it would be nice to say, I'm pleased to meet you. Often when saying hello, we will follow it with an inquiry. For example, hello, how are you? If you've met them before, you might say, how have you been? You could ask, how are things? Like, how is everything in your life? We simply say, how are things? You may ask a more specific question like, 
how is work? Or if you know them well enough, you may say, how is your family? And ways you might respond to this question in a formal setting are, I'm fine, thank you. And you? It's always polite to ask the question back. You could say, I'm very well, thank you for asking. And you? If they've asked about work, you could simply say, it's good, thank you. Finally, when the conversation has ended and it's time to leave, you could simply say goodbye. Or you might say, it was a pleasure to meet you. Or it was very nice to meet you. If you're going to see them again sometime in the future, you could say, I'll see you soon. If you know exactly when you're going to see them, you might say, I'll see you on Monday. Or I will see you at the event. Or I'll see you in the meeting. Let us now look at these formal greetings in use. Good morning. Oh, hello, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. And you? Not bad, thank you. How's that um, project going? It's progressing slowly. I'll see you at 10.30. 10.30? Your big presentation. Now it's time to look at informal greetings. This is how you generally speak to someone that you know on a personal level. So your friends or your family members. Basically, everything is shortened and much more relaxed. So instead of saying, hello, you might say, hi. Instead of, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, you could just say, morning, afternoon, evening. And instead of saying, it's very nice to meet you, you could say, nice to meet you. When making those all important inquiries, the same rules apply. Usually sentences are shortened and much more relaxed. So instead of how are you, you might hear how are you, how are you, or how are you, how are you, with a weak form of the word are, uh, how are you. We also use more contractions, for example, how have you been, how's life, how's it going, how's things, wait, how's things, how is things? That doesn't make sense. We also make some grammatical errors on purpose. <laughs> English is so confusing. But that is an acceptable, informal way to inquire about someone. How's things? By responding to these types of questions in an informal setting, the same rules apply. Short and relaxed. So, I might answer this question with, fine thanks, you. Or, good thanks, you. And often in informal situations, we might use much more exciting language, like, I'm fabulous, I'm awesome, or I'm fan dabby dozy, thank you very much. But words like fan dabby dozy would not be suitable in an office situation. Okay, let's see some of these informal greetings in use. Afternoon, oh, how's it going? All good, thanks, to you? Yeah, awesome, thanks. How's it doing? Oh, I'm better now. Good. I've got to go. Um, it's nice to see you. You too. Bye. Bye. Okay. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, parece que vimos un video very, very uh, important and has a great input, uh, information. Cierto, el video está tan claro how you can uh, create a conversations in a formal and informal. Now, what we have to do? Tenemos todavía siete minutitos. Ya no tenemos tiempo para... ¿Qué hora termina esta hora? Perdón. Diez. Ya. Yes, yes. Ya. Déjenme ver si tengo activado para hacer grupos de trabajo. No, tengo que activarle la de grupos. Ya. La siguiente clase tenemos que continuar. Entonces, déjenme revisar cómo están las diapositivas. Ya. Entonces les voy a dar solo unas indicaciones por ahora, porque en la siguiente clase vamos a hacer un grupo de trabajo. Serán preparados, be prepared to work in groups. Si ¿Sí han trabajado en grupos por Zoom, ¿no es cierto? Ya. Yeah. Be prepared, be prepared, porque the next class we're going to continue with the slides. I'm going to continue with the slides. But before I start the exercise, porque hay unas oraciones, unos ejercicios que ir llenando en el slide, muy aparte del final, que ya es la actividad de la tarea, que ya les diré, les de explicar cómo subimos. Eh, I'm going to create a groups to make formal and informal conversation. 
Entonces usted tendrá que preparar con su amigo por Zoom y nos va a ir presentando en la clase. ¿Entiende? Pero eso vamos a hacer la siguiente clase. Así que estés pendiente, jóvenes y señoritas, y ha sido un gusto haberles tenido aquí en la clase. Enjoy the date. You don't have work. Todavía no tienen homework. You don't have a homework because we have to continue uh, review the, the slides. Tengo que continuar revisando las diapositivas. And continue, vengan las diapositivas. Uh, you have to make activities. Remember the, the next class, you have to make a formal and informal conversation in groups. Groups of three, máximo. Máximo groups of three. Y tendrán que mezclar las conversaciones as uh, you watched the video before, como usted miró el video anteriormente. Okay? Ustedes se medio preparados para crear conversations in groups of three or pairs. Pairs is the dos y groups could be more than two. Thank you very much, and you can go out of the class. Thank you very much, eh, jóvenes y señoritas. You can go out of the class. Yeah, you can go out of the class. You understand? ¿Me entendieron? Yeah, go out of the class. Thank you very much. Goodbye, teacher. Goodbye. Goodbye. See you Goodbye. next Goodbye, class. teacher. Goodbye. Goodbye, ladies and gentlemen. See you next class. Bye, teacher. I will see Bye, you in the next class. Goodbye.